There has been a clear tendency in the Marvel Universe of late toward introducing heroes who are themselves children or teenagers. Could the Avengers be recruiting a new generation of heroes? I think so. These future heroes are related to an Avenger or were trained by one. To that end, Marvel Studios debuted a young Avenger hero, making nine. The last nine will be revealed if you watch the entire video. The nine young Avengers in the MCU so far. Before the critical characters of the universe came together for the Avengers, their team-up film, the public was gradually exposed to them throughout the first phase of the MCU. The majority of these characters were given enough time to become at least somewhat established before they joined the rest of the team, which allowed the audience to get to know them before witnessing their interactions with one another. When one is already familiar with most, if not all, of the team, watching a major team-up movie is much more intriguing because the viewer is already emotionally invested in the characters. Members of the Young Avengers, another well-known MCU squad, have been gradually introduced throughout Phase 4 of the movie franchise. The Young Avengers are a group of young people who unite and use their abilities to fight for the greater good. Most of them have some familial or other connection to one of the original Avengers. Given that nearly all of the essential characters have already appeared in this MCU, it's reasonable to assume that Marvel will ultimately want to give them a movie or TV program. The Young Avengers who have been on screen in Phase 4 will be mentioned in this video, with some characters having more significant roles than others. First on the list is Kate Bishop. Due to her role as one of Hawkeye's core protagonists, Kate Bishop is the young Avenger who has left the most effect on the screen. Many fans were excited to eventually see her on screen with the rest of the squad because the program served as a fantastic introduction to her character. Kate is a talented archer from an affluent family, and her independent nature makes her the ideal candidate for a hero. Since she didn't possess any superhuman abilities, she had always respected Hawkeye as a superhero without special skills. At one point, she had assumed Clint Barton's role as Hawkeye. She's the oldest Young Avengers member introduced thus far in the MCU. Most of the others are in their teens or younger, while she is in her early 20s. Given that she's the oldest and possibly most experienced member of the team-up and serves as a leader in the comic book versions of the Young Avengers alongside Eli Bradley, this may indicate that she will assume a leadership position in the final team-up. Next are Billy Kaplan and Tommy Shepard. Even though they now have a slightly altered appearance, these two have significant significantly impacted the MCU. The sons of the Scarlet Witch and Vision, unmade by Mephisto, and reincarnated into and raised by two households in the comics, are Billy and Tommy, also known as Wiccan and Speed. They both acquire superpowers. Billy has magical prowess akin to his mother, the Scarlet Witch, while Tommy has speedy prowess comparable to his uncle, Quicksilver. Billy, in particular, has a significant role to perform, especially in the Young Avengers book's 2013 run. Both twins are substantial to the Young Avengers squad and plot. They have played a significant role in Wanda's tale thus far in the MCU, especially in the Multiverse of Madness, since her storyline is focused on her desire to return to them. There is a significant likelihood that the plot about them being born into other households will still be present because of the multiverse plots and the fact that Wanda doesn't have her children in this world. To fit in with the rest of the team, they'll need to be at least adolescent in age, but the fact that they have already appeared is encouraging. Next, we have Cassie Lang, the daughter of Scott Lang, the second Ant-Man is Cassie Lang, also known as Stature. She assumes her heroic identity in the comics following her father's passing, since she shares Ant-Man's growing and shrinking abilities thanks to years of taking Pym particles. She's only had a fleeting appearance in the Marvel Cinematic Universe as Scott Lang's little daughter in the Ant-Man films, and by the time of Endgame, five years after Scott was imprisoned in the Quantum Realm, she was an adult. She'll be portrayed by Catherine Newton in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, and given that she's a more experienced and well known actress, it's evident that they want her to have a more significant part and remain in the MCU for a while. America Chavez is another young superhero. Having made her debut in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, America is the newest young Avenger to join the MCU. America creates holes in the air that resemble stars and utilizes them to bridge dimensions. In the 2013 run, she runs into the young Avengers and joins the group to look for Wiccan after Kid Loki tries to convince her to kill him. She's less seasoned than her comic book counterpart and appears younger in the MCU because she recently learned to control her powers. Still, maybe future appearances will allow her fiery personality to emerge ultimately. Next is Kid Loki. Kid Loki is a young Avenger who also makes a brief MCU appearance. He's the kid version of everyone's favorite trickster god. He's depicted in comic books as the outcome of Loki dying and reviving without most of his abilities or memory. When he first encounters the young Avengers, he manipulates them and plots to steal Wiccan's abilities. But later, he joins the group and cooperates with them. 
One of the variations inhabiting the Void in Loki was Kid Loki. Uncertainty surrounds whether this iteration of the character will take part in the Young Avengers team-up, or whether this was merely a brief cameo, but it will be intriguing to see if he does. We also have Miss Marvel. Kamala is such a fan that she creates fan fiction for the Avengers and bases her outfit on Captain Marvel's former Miss Marvel outfit. Although Carol Danvers was never Miss Marvel in the MCU, Kamala will likely share Carol's enthusiasm for superheroes. Kamala isn't a member of the Young Avengers in the comics like Riri. Kamala debuted in 2013, Riri in 2016, and the Young Avengers made their debut as a group in 2005. Both characters could see how their adventures would eventually bring them together with some of the heroes they encountered. Riri Williams, or Ironheart, is also on the list. Riri Williams is the presumptive heir to Iron Man's superhero reign in Marvel Comics. Before she was even a teenager, she got into MIT, and in her free time, she stole components from the university labs to fix an old replica of Iron Man armor. She even has Tony Stark's support as his replacement. Although, she might not get the opportunity to make that recommendation in the MCU, the character is scheduled to appear in at least two upcoming episodes of Marvel programming. In the comics, Riri isn't a part of the Teenage Avengers, but she is a member of the Champions, another group of young superheroes. It's very feasible that Ironheart might end up in the movie adaptation of the Young Avengers instead, given that the MCU is renowned for not faithfully adapting comic book concepts. Lastly, we have Scar. After playing the Hulk in the first few episodes of She-Hulk, Attorney at Law, Bruce Banner's character left Earth on an unidentified mission. By the end of the season finale, he was back to meet his family and introduce them to Scar, a young Hulk with an incredibly distinctive haircut choice. This last-minute disclosure provided proof of Marvel's plans for the Young Avengers and perhaps other Hulk tales. Next up, the other Young Avengers contenders. On the opposite end of the scale, Eli Bradley has had one of the MCU's most minimal roles to date, effectively playing a cameo in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Elijah is the boy, Isaiah's grandson, who resides with Isaiah Bradley when Sam and Bucky go to learn his story. In honor of his grandfather Isaiah Bradley, who was subjected to the Super Soldier Serum experimentation, Eli, also known as Patriot, one of the team's leaders and a comic book character, models himself like Captain America. Eli started taking pills containing mutant growth hormone to develop superhuman prowess equal to Captain America. Given that he and Kate Bishop are love interests in the comics, it's especially ironic that his involvement in the MCU has been minor and that he still appears relatively young. Due to the age difference, it doesn't appear that this will be the case with their MCU counterparts, but maybe he'll have aged up by the time the team-up occurs. If not, that plot portion will need to be deleted. There's also Love. After Thor, Love and Thunder, Thor discovers a new purpose in caring for Gore the God Butcher's daughter, who possesses a unique set of abilities. Despite having her name in the movie's title, she doesn't make a list because viewers don't know her future. India Hemsworth, Chris Hemsworth's daughter, played her character role, which was technically developed for the movie. And since Hemsworth defined her part as a one-off joyful family adventure, her future in the Marvel Cinematic Universe is currently in question. And there you have it, the young superheroes we're likely to see in a Young Avengers team. Let us know in the comments section if there are other topics you'd like us to cover. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.